All right, who's winning the practice session today? Uh, I mean, I'm going to go with myself. I usually lead the practice session, and then I miss cut, so. <laughs> we're talking about how we're going to throw 26 in a row in cold water. <laughs> and if he does it, he's going to quit. Yeah, no, I'm done. <laughs> done? Well, if anyone's going to do it, it's this man right here. Yeah, he is. How are you feeling? Are you going to win practice session today? I win everything. I you try win to. everything? I try to. <laughs> <laughs> then BJ's like, hold up. I'm actually going to win it all. We're having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Jacob, I need you to do something for me. Will you tell the vlog who your favorite bowler is? Kyle Sherman. Kyle Sherman? Oh. Why is that? He's better than you. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna need you to do me some good this week. I know me and you are friends during the qualifying portion, but we gotta work on our communication a little bit during the match play portion of the tournament. I'm pulling the Norm Duke strategy right now. We just gotta talk about it. You gotta give it a little love. You gotta give it a love. You gotta be friendly with them. We gotta talk to them. We just need to do a little better job in the later portion of tournaments. I know. Just let me know. All you gotta do is let me know what you're thinking. I'll figure it out. Just, just help me bring it home. Help me bring it home. If that works, you're gonna see a line of PBA bowlers just talking to the talking to the lane machine. <laughs> just uh, praying to the lane machine. Yeah. Guy yes. Or yes. Talk to him. Yeah, talk to him. Every morning. Yeah, talk to him. Every morning, talk to the machine, man. I told him just give I it a. Talk to him too. Yeah. I know. <laughs> All right. Practice session is done. This is kind of cool. Again, we're in the back of the uh, bowling center right now. You can see all the, uh, the machines back here. But anyway, we are bowling on 45 feet this week. I think it's 45 feet. It's longer. Um, there's some hook to the right. The lanes were getting a little clipped. What we mean by that is that the lanes were super dry to the right, uh, and then there's kind of like a puddle in the middle. Uh, so when you get the ball right, it likes to hook, uh, and when you get the ball in, it kind of just shoots. Shim rack. Shim rack. <laughs> That's basically what you have to do on this pattern. So yeah, we're about to go out to the truck. I'm waiting for Brad because you know I'm kind of always waiting on Brad. We're gonna go drill some bowling balls. Show you guys some of that. This has got to be a safety hazard. Boom. What's on the menu today? Little web action. Tall pin. Need flare. Is that what we're going for there? Flare? Oh, of course. Obviously. Of course. We're doing. We're drilling this web. I guess the idea behind this ball is to create more flare. It kind of helps me blend out the lanes when they get clipped. Got all these Brunswick guys holding up the line over here. Yeah, yeah we are. All I'm doing is trying to drop off the ball. Oh, okay. What do you want? <laughs> no, no, no. You don't see it. Right. A or B. Man. A or B. B squad. Look at that. Uh, Sean Rash putting the ball on the rack. Don't start any rumors <laughs> on your YouTube channel. <laughs> See that? Yeah, there's only like two people that watch this. So. Your royalties are coming soon, Sean. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, another another practice session, another drill day. Wow. Uh, today, we're drilling a uh, Hypercell Fuse. Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, Hypercell Fuse. I haven't thrown one of these in a while. I'm gonna be really interested. So I can't, can't vlog and get up the damn thing. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> what do you mean, what are we doing? For dinner is what I meant. I got a pro at 5 o'clock. Oh. What are you doing? What I meant was, oh, nice. <laughs> Coming into town. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh maybe I'll meet him. You should. Oh, yeah. Nice people. <laughs> Sometimes. Dude, my man AJ is our absolute savior. Of I course, got you. Of course. I love the shoes too. I love my shoes. Dang man, left my workout shoes there too. That's why I was working out barefooted last night. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we leave our we leave our Airbnb. I had a little bit of a late night. Brad stayed yeah. in. So, and this man did too. Yeah. <laughs> we were just out having a good time. And uh, we left our brand new camera kit there, which is another camera like this. Basically, it's like 
a thousand dollars worth of equipment in a box plus shoes plus a couple other things just left it there we're two hours into the drive I'm like crap Brad mind you this drive is awful it's like traffic everywhere like we have to turn around this is another like five hours I mean it's not a short drive either it's no, like seven and, hours yeah and it's seven hour drive like dude yeah. and I'm trying to think who may be luckily uh, AJ and Marshall were still there a boy ran by the Airbnb, I got picked it. it up for us. Got you. My man, dude. God. Yeah. I can't tell you how happy I was when you're like, yeah, yeah, we'll go by. I'm like, oh my God, thank God. Brad and Kyle <laughs> Brad is saved on YouTube. <laughs> he saved us. Saved so it. the vlog is saved this week, guys. Thanks to this man right here. <laughs> that's the look of a man that's tried six different bowling balls in this Pro-Am. I thought, you, I thought you were going to say it's a look of a man that's done his uh, 126,663rd Pro-Am in his career. <laughs> How many people do you think you've met in your lifetime just bowling Pro-Ams? How many people what? Do you think you've met in your lifetime just bowling Pro-Ams? Oh. oh. Man. You've been Six. doing this for, how long have you been on tour? 25, 30 years? I said this is 20 years, give I or take. I said this is about your 122nd, 1663rd Pro-Am race tonight. Yeah. <laughs> now, Norm actually, yeah. I mean, to be fair, Norm is really only like four or five years older than me. He's been on tour 15 years longer than me. Really? Yeah. Wow. And so he won at 18, which means he pretty much has had a Pro-Am since he was 18. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, he's now, not 18. And, uh, no, he's, he's on his like 3,214th pro am. At least. It you might need be an average to say, let's call it conservatively 200 people in a pro am. And now he's doing on you the senior tour. I'm already a calculator. You know? yeah. Chris, you're up. I'm not. You're taking too much time. I'm not. What? Stu's up. Oh, yeah. Stu hasn't got done bowling. You got two pros to like. Yes, oh, Stu, he's back at. Yeah. Wow, about time. What's it, you guys shared a pair? That was fun. <laughs> oh. This fit was oh, chewy, was nothing gets shared. I'm telling you. <laughs> Absolutely. Have a good one. Alright, how's the pro am going, man? <laughs> uh, it's actually going really good. Yeah. To be honest, I love these things. Dude, these always go well, man. It's so much fun being in a sign. I mean, look at this center. This place is absolutely packed. There's with three of them. Right now. 2 30, 5 p.m., 8 p.m. So this Every what, city we go to, there's that many people. So, this is what we do we, we bowl the pro am the night before. We get to meet all the people, hang out with them, see the real fans. There's people that there's people that drive three, four. Someone drove from North Carolina at 7 p.m. last night. So I was telling her about our traffic in Washington D.C. Yeah, oh she played us smart. She left at 7. I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah. I, I wonder why. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right. Well, Brad's finishing up. He's got the 5 p.m. Yep. I have the 8. About to tag him in. Yep. So my turn now. But uh, yeah. End of practice day. End of practice. Another day. practice day down. In the and books. Another tournament starting tomorrow. Time to go win pro am. Living the dream. Living the dream. <laughs>